Chasing perfection. Why do we do it? Is it to prove something? Well, pushing myself is my reason, and with my new printer, I want to push its capabilities with my skills. Whatever it takes. Springs are good for this. Requires machine precision, good design, material science, and a lot of trial and error. Now, designing a spring without using it won't prove that it actually works. I will need a test method to determine that it in fact works for future projects. A projectile launcher sounds like a great idea. All I need is to make some squiggly shape and I'm home free. Alright, it deformed and broke. Plastic is pretty temperamental, so what could I expect? Is it the spring shape or the material? Polyethylene terephthalate glycol, PETG for short, is a 3D printer material known to be more resilient and flexible than polylactic acid, PLA for short. Instead of being temperamental after it is printed, PETG decides to be temperamental when it is being printed. Nothing that my new printer can't handle, however. Not great, not horrible. Better resilience and flexibility, but it still deforms after some time. It can be better, but how? Size, a parameter that I didn't think about and should have tested earlier. Varying the thicknesses of those curves can change how the spring stretches. This has to be it. Come on, I know you can do better, man. Just give me a working spring. What am I going to? I was reluctant to create helical springs because I didn't think they would be printable. Turns out, they're printable. Because the spring is helical, I was able to print the spring on top of itself. With a minute gap in between the spring surface, it's able to come apart surprisingly nicely. This has to work. It's better, but it still has some deformation that would get worse over time. Worst of all, this is an extension spring. I can't compress this and use it to launch anything. Or I could do that as well. enjoying the video, consider leaving a like and subscribing. I appreciate it. Snug supports. Apply supports just under a surface that needs it. Not only does it make the supports spiral and look nice, but it also makes it very nice to take off, especially for spring. The spring is a little weak, which is expected from the first version of this kind of a spring. It's time to make the projectile launcher, but first, the sponsor of this video is PCBWay. If you want to make cool 3D printed springs, but you don't have a 3D printer like I do, don't worry. You can use their 3D printing services to do the job. Just send in a file with their 3D printing service and you'll get it in no time. But PCBs aren't 3D printed, so what's with the name? Well, they manufacture custom made PCBs of course. You can send in your PCB design to have it made. They have other services like CNC milling and metal 3D printing as well. Air. It is the unexpected propellant for the launcher. Initially, I was going to have the spring crash into the projectile and move it that way, but using air is better. The spring is used as a piston to push air into the hole, pressurizing it into a jet of air, which pushes the projectile forward. The focused stream of air essentially directs the spring's energy onto the projectile, reducing the loss of energy, making the projectile go faster. Thing is, air is lightning in a bottle. We need to contain it, so that's where the O-ring comes in. Enough talk, let's launch this projectile. See you first. Hopefully you guys can see it. Here we go.
There was always that one problem that never escaped and lived rent-free in my mind. Deformation. It's always that deformation. The spring design changes, the size changes, the material changes, they were all inadequate. What's the point of a spring if it will deform later? Deformation. It can't be escaped. But there has to be a way. Ask me when. I need some rest. Wait. Everything needs to rest at some point. Everything has a breaking point. Everything degrades. Normal springs degrade. But it still hasn't even been perfected yet. What have I been doing this for, really? I pushed myself in my printer and I made a spring that launches projectiles. And actually, I made a spring that retracts as well. Isn't that what I really wanted? I guess it is. I guess deformation will be here to stay. There's nothing I can change about that. The spring did its job, and I did mine. Chasing perfection. Why did I do it? Is it to impress others? Maybe to prove them wrong? I think I just got lost along the path of reaching for my potential. But what I know for sure is that it sure as hell doesn't encourage you. 